Every day, we must make conscious decisions on what to eat. We are often bombarded and overwhelmed with a variety of choices, from freshly picked organic vegetables to oily fried potatoes. Each food is composed of different nutrients that our bodies metabolize in order to maintain our health. What we consume is therefore highly critical in regulating a variety of aspects from our overall health to behavior, mood, and even gene expression. The way that our body metabolizes the nutritional components and the role of vitamins and minerals involved in enzyme function explain just how important diet is to our functioning. The course NS3310 offered by Cornell University serves to explore the metabolism of nutrients and the pathogenesis of nutritional deficiencies by understanding the biochemical mechanisms and pathways of both macro and micronutrient metabolism. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Ling Chi. I'm the uh, Associate Professor at the Division of Nutritional Sciences. I learned a lot from teaching this course. I learned a lot from the, just in, by interacting with the students. Um, in each nutrient, we cover uh, digestion, absorption, uh, metabolism, and, uh, and diseases. So we'll have guest lectures. Uh, we'll have at least six, seven guest lectures from leading scientists. Uh, this year, we're going to have a uh, a scientist from Yale and the other one from University of Minnesota uh, working my lab deal with the uh, a lot about the obesity diabetes as well as inflammatory bowel disease. We're going to require uh, every student in the class to present 10 minutes um, on a topic on any topic that they're interested in as long as it's related to nutrition. In the past we really had outstanding uh, student presentation. Thank you. That's it. So this class has really helped me um, achieve a sort of fundamental basis and understanding of nutrition and uh, different vitamins and how they sort of facilitate enzyme functions and how diet plays important roles in uh, both physical and mental health. Um, as someone who is going to begin medical studies in the fall, my understanding is that some medical schools don't necessarily have a nutrition-based focus. So this class is pretty fascinating. Um, relates to a lot of what I've done um, within working with Dr. Chi through, for three years. Now one of the favorite things about the course is um, is how well... Eric, what's your favorite thing about the course? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> well, uh, one of my favorite things about the course is that it's really difficult and challenging, but when you actually learn and understand the material, it's so rewarding that you can succeed, despite there being so much stuff to need to know. I like Dr. Chi's enthusiasm and uh, how he brings that into the classroom. It's very clear that he enjoys teaching, it's very clear that he enjoys the subject matter. Uh, in class there's a lot of material but we also offer like tons of resources. Uh, we have a huge TA team. Um, we, want, we want you guys to succeed a lot. We're here to help you. Like That's why we signed up to be TAs. Before I had taken a nutrition course at Cornell, I was not really that interested and after this class it just opened up so many doors for me and it actually changed my career path. So now I'm actually going into public health and nutrition and I'm very excited about it. I, I do work with uh, iron transportation and placental tissue and this class, um, unlike many other classes at the at Cornell, went into de great depth about iron transportation. This class has actually not only really changed my perspective on allopathic medicine, it's also really gotten me into integrative medicine, which is a huge nutrition focus. We went into detail, we went into pathways, and um, because of that I really understand how um, the different mechanisms um, of metabolism work. It built a background and good basis for understanding nutrient metabolism. I like to work out a lot, so it helps me understand what my body really needs. Um, so I really appreciate the course instructor, Dr. Chi. Um, you know, he really cares about his students and he always has lunch office hours um, where students are allowed to come eat with him. He really cares about making his course as fun and interesting as possible and so he's always uh, reading student evaluations and always finding ways to uh, improve his course. I look forward to a wonderful semester, as always. Okay. Oh, I'm done! <laughs> Good! <laughs>